Hello, welcome to IT Experts YouTube video series. In this video, we will go over the Power BI desktop and its components. In BI Tools world, many years Tableau was winning the competition, but for last two years Power BI made a significant jump and now it is leading the space. Let's talk, analyzing data with self-service BI. SSBI focuses on supporting the end user, allowing business users and analysts to be more involved in their own data analysis. Data teams are still involved in SSBI, but IT teams instead focus on how data is ingested and governed within the organization, and analysts can use their expertise to dig deep into data mining or modeling projects rather than answer ad hoc reporting requests. Business users are given the ability to explore their data quickly within the well-considered boundaries that IT or data teams set up. Let's discuss self-serving analyzing data using Power BI tool. In the self-service BI tools, it empower the decision makers. In the SSBI world, using one tool like Power BI, analysts can connect with the multiple data sources. Analysts can own end-to-end -end data process pipeline. Connect with various data sources. Clean and massaging the data. Process and analyze the data. Prepare dashboard or reports. And publish analysis work. With no code or low code. Any business users can do BI work quickly and effectively. They don't need high-end technical knowledge or tools. As such, there are many self-service, BI benefits. As you can see in our customer stories. Customers have found great benefit in return on investment in SSBI benefits include The reduced lag time when users can answer their questions and follow-up questions Faster speed to insight Increased quality of data reporting Competitive advantage in having timely, relevant insights A crucial step in creating a data culture in the organization Improved data literacy Let's dive in Power BI Desktop Components in detail. There are three main views. One report view, where we add visuals, graphs and charts. Two data view, where we see the data set. Three relationship view, where we the data model. Visuals and tiles, to show data in visual form. Filters, to filter the data. Tables and fields, show tables and its columns. Ribbons, menu and other options. Pages, create multiple pages. Dashboard, one page visual details. Report, multiple pages of visual details. Power BI Desktop is free, you can download it from the Microsoft website or Microsoft Store. The page shows the download URL. After downloading the software, just follow the installation wizard steps. To install the software, Question, what are the visualizations? In the world of Power BI, a visualization can be referred to as a visual representation of data. This representation can be in the form of a chart, graph, map, or any other interesting thing that you create to represent your data. Power BI has a good number of visualizations that can help you represent your data in creative ways. The image below shows a few of the visualizations that are present in Power BI. Question, what are the tiles? A tile is a single visualization on a report or dashboard. For example, if you have a report or dashboard containing a pie chart, a map and a graph, each one of them is known as a tile. Question, what are the data connections? Power BI Desktop supports 130 plus different data connections. To get the data from the various data sources. Question, what is data set? Datasets, a dataset is a collection of data that is used by Power BI to create visualizations. Simply put, it is the data behind the chart, graph or map in your report. If you have a chart that displays the number of products sold in each month of the year, the data used to produce that chart is known as the dataset. Question, what are dashboards? A dashboard is a collection of visualizations on a single page, which you can share with others. While it is visually like a report, a dashboard must fit on a single page and can be shared with other users who will be able to interact with the data presented in the dashboard. Question, what are reports? In the world of Power BI, a report is a collection of visualizations that appear together on one or multiple pages or dashboards. 
Reports help you arrange your visualizations in a way that tells the story of your data. Question, what are filters? Visual level filters. Filter a single visual in a report or dashboard. Drill through level filters. Filter a single entity in a report. Page level filters. Filter all visuals on the report page. Report level filters. Filter all pages in a report. For a data analysis journey steps. 1. Gather requirements. 2. Query data source. 3. Configure visuals. 4. Publish dashboard. Now let's compare Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service. Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service has many common aspects. Authoring tools for visual dashboards and reports. But Power BI Desktop is a on-premise tool, installed on Data Analyst's local machine. Power BI Service is a cloud tool, installed on Azure Cloud, accessed via web browser. In this page, let's cover the key Power BI products. Power BI Desktop A desktop product, to prepare BI dashboards and reports, authoring tool. Power BI Service A cloud product, enable Power BI Desktop users to share and collaborate the BI work. Enable report authoring capabilities from mobile platforms. Power BI Mobile Dashboard viewers can connect with Power BI Service or Report Server. Power BI Report Server On-premise product, work from company's network, enable Power BI Desktop users to share and collaborate the BI work. Now let's cover how the flow of work in Power BI. A common flow of work in Power BI begins in Power BI Desktop, where our reports are created. That reports are then published to the Power BI Service or Power BI Report Server. From here, reports are shared with other users. Once reports are published, users of Power BI mobile apps can consume the information. Quiz time. Take few minutes of time and answers the following questions. In case if you are not clear, please rewind the video and review the materials till you are clear with these questions. In your Java interview, you may expect some of these questions. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands-on computer training with labs, homework, group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in Resume, LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech, references, in-person, online class, class retake options, and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification.